Hi there, welcome back to my channel. I'm Heidi, I'm so excited that you could join me. Today we're gonna do a quick excerpt from one of my motor classes that I host weekly. It's gonna be about 10 to 15 minutes. It definitely will still be full body, but it's gonna be a part of a whole series. So just so you know where I'm going with this, it's like a little teaser, if you will. I hope you enjoy. Just in case you're wondering what that is on my couch, it's my cat in his bed and I didn't have the heart to move him. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna come up onto our hands and knees facing one side of your motor. Keep in mind that both avocados have light resistance, so both buttons out. If you get into the movement and you feel like I could go heavier, push a button in by all means, or come back, do the workout again, and add resistance. <laughs> so we're gonna come onto all fours. Hands are gonna be right on top of the motor. I like to place my hands right on the top so that my fingertips can just hang down the side. All right, we're here in a nice neutral spine here. Neck is long, feel those armpits pull down towards your hips. And let's just start with some sternum drops, allowing your shoulder blades to hug the spine and then exhale to slide them apart. So we're just setting up that upper body. Let's just do three more. Exhale, press. Last two here. And press. One more. Press. And now hold that position right here. Keeping the pelvis nice and quiet in the space, I want you to send your right leg straight back for me. Or your outside leg. Doesn't really matter. You're going to hold. And all I want you to do is just float the leg off the floor and just tap it down. Just do two more, lift and lower. Last one, lift, tap it down. Now, take the opposite hand in front of the motor, okay? Thumb is pointing forward, pinky touches the motor. You're gonna reach the arm overhead as you reach the foot away and bring it down. Let's do that again. So you're reaching the limbs in opposite directions. Working in that stability core, working that sling system here. Last two, because I already lost count. One more here. Bring it down. Replace the leg, replace the hand, and we switch sides. From here, keeping everything rock solid, you're gonna send that opposite leg back, and we're gonna lift and lower that leg. For three, lift for two. So you're thinking about lifting right where the hamstring meets the glute. Now pause, taking the opposite hand in front of the motor, pinky to the motor, thumb pointing forward. We're gonna lift and lower. We have four more. Let's do about five, three. Last two, so you're reaching in opposite directions. Last one, bring it down, and then take a moment, press it back. Good, give yourself a stretch. Now. You're gonna come back up, let's add resistance, okay? So, your outside arm is going to grab the front strap. The inside arm, the arm closest to your extension arm, is gonna grab the strap that's closest to you. You're gonna place both hands on the motor. Now, from here, we're gonna start with the outside arm and the inside leg, okay? Opposite arm from leg reach, right here. We're gonna extend the arm overhead and we're gonna send that leg behind us and bring it back down. Again, just reach and bring it in. We have three more, reach, bring it in. Final two, reach, bring it in. Now final one, reach, hold right there. From that position, I want you to bend the elbow. So you're doing a little lat pull and you're gonna flex that foot and draw the heel to your bottom. And then extend the leg, extend the arm. Yes, so we get into the back, into the shoulder, into the hamstring, so working that posterior chain and then we reach. 
three more. We pull and we reach, working to keep that thigh parallel to the floor as much as possible. Reach, final one. And we reach and we bring it down. All right, we're gonna do the other side. You're gonna feel a little difference here. From here, as you send the opposite leg from arm out away from each other, you're gonna notice now this is more of a shoulder press, a shoulder reach, yes? And bring it back. Let's do four more, reach, bring it back. Last three, and back. Final two, bring it back. Final one, you hold, same work, the elbow comes back, you flex the foot, drag the heel to the bottom, and you extend. So now the work on the upper body is that shoulder press, that reach. Last three, and extend. Final two, extend. Last one, we extend, bring it down, and rest, press it back. Relaxing that head and neck. Lovely. Awesome. Now take a moment. Normally I'd break up the two sides, but all I want you to do is climb on over and we're gonna repeat. Now I must give credit where it's due. I got this little sequence from my motor trainer, Patty Craner. So shout out to Patty. This is a beautiful, beautiful variation here. We're gonna take both hands into the straps. Now, just as a reminder, the strap that's closest to you is gonna be in your inside hand. The strap that's furthest away is gonna be in the outside hand. You're gonna come back onto your motor, finding your all fours position. We're here, we're gonna start with the inside leg first and the outside arm. We're gonna start by reaching the limbs away, extend and bring it in. Again, we reach, we bring it in. Let's do three more, and in. Last two, bring it in, we're getting some whole body movement. You're gonna hold on one. We're gonna draw that elbow back, we're gonna flex the foot, drag the heel to the bottom, and then point and extend, reach the arm. We have four more, and we reach. Last three. And we reach, feel the back, feel the hamstrings, two. And reach, final one. And we reach, bring it down, other side. Yes, so we're here. We extend the arm, we extend the leg. And bring it in, there's my sofa. Again, I reach, and I bring it in. Last three, bring it in. Final two. Keeping the rest of the body solid. Last one, you hold. We flex the foot, we bend the elbow, and we reach. Flex, pull, bend the elbow, shoulder press. Last three, and reach. Final two, and reach. Last one, we reach. Bring it down, Ha! Ah, relax. Take the straps back in, press it back. Rounding your spine. Very nice. So this exercise is meant to work on balance. It's meant to work on that stability core, yes? Let's get a little roll down here so you can mobilize your spine. Get some articulation, some fluid in those bones. Standing nice and tall. Take a breath in, arms come up overhead. Let's exhale, dive it forward, round that spine, relaxing that head and neck. Getting a little stretch in the hamstrings that you just worked. And then from here, we're gonna soften the knees. As you exhale, you're gonna roll your spine up, restacking, rolling the shoulders up, back and down. I'm gonna get my hair out of my mouth. And as I said, this is a little teaser. Feel free to put this workout with any other workout in your day. Yeah, enjoy. Comment below, let me know if you have any questions. And if you'd like to join me for my live motor classes, email me, I'll put the information below. I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope you liked this video. Give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget, Subscribe and you'll be notified when the next video drops.
And in the meantime, come join me on Instagram. I hope to see you soon.